right, you guys, I am back with a, another TikTok lucky scoop right here. We're gonna open it, we're gonna review it. This time I ordered from If Only Crystals, also known as Avengers Crystals. Now I have seen them recently change their name to If Only Crystals, and there's a couple of theories as to why they changed their name. So they themselves say they changed their name because too many other companies were using their name and selling through their name with Avengers Crystals. However, on the other hand, I've seen people say they changed their name from Avengers Crystals because of all of the scams. Mm. So I don't know. It's, it's kind of like he said, she said kind of situation. So what do you guys think? And I did find a TikToker recently who kind of exposes these Lucky Scoops. And a lot of them do change their name. A lot of them sell under multiple different accounts. A lot of them work with each other. And this makes sense to me because they're all big crystal factories. So anyways, let's start with this scoop. I ordered from If Only Crystals. It was like midday and you guys, this was so different. There was nobody in line. Nobody was waiting for a scoop. And the girl who was the host looked like she felt a little run down. She was like, I'm gonna sign off, no one's ordering. And I was like, ooh, this is the perfect time. I will put my order in, cause then there's no way that there'll be any discrepancies with my order getting mixed up with somebody else's order. I'll be able to instantly watch them pull the order and I'll be able to screen record it. So that's exactly what I did. And I will play the clip for you guys right now for what the scoop is supposed to look like but pay attention to her energy and I will try to tell you some of the crystals that I see. The scoop went by really fast as I normally do. So here we go with playing the video. Let me give you a, what about a beautiful rabbit? Three gift for you, huh? Thank you for saving my life. Can I say Buddha? Yes. You want Buddha? Okay, so first of all, before she even pulls the scoop, she gives me three gifts. One of them is a rabbit. I couldn't really hear what she said for the other, but she said, thank you for staying in my live because she was kind of ready to sign off. So I think she just appreciated me being there and placing an order. My beautiful Barbara, that's your name. <laughs> Mommy. <laughs> that made me laugh. But you can tell her voice, she feels like a little sick, a little raspy. I have seen her before and she doesn't sound like this rundown, so I kind of feel bad. This was before daylight saving, so China is actually 13 hours ahead of us. So that would make it 12.51, so almost 1 a.m. their time when they're pulling this scoop. I don't know if you guys have different opinions from this, but clearly they're not getting the business that they were getting three, four months ago when I initially ordered the other scoop. I've seen this across the board with Meow, was it Meow Meow Crystals, Avengers Crystals, Highland Crystals, like people are not ordering like they used to. And I think it's because so many people are upset about the lack of return policy, the issue with scams, the low quality, the crystals not being sent that were actually pulled for them. I think because I was literally the only person Person ordering she was pulling some extra stuff so you can see her grab a sphere and she's grabbing some extra stuff for me so we'll see when we unbox it if that's actually what's in here okay so she says only fancy stuff for me so I'm a crystal shop I'm gonna hold her to it if there's not fancy stuff in there I'm just kidding okay you see that big tower so I do know that big tower is in there cuz I literally the package came and I was like what is this that big tower is in there, so we'll see what's in the rest of the package. This jumbo blue fluoride sphere. That is that is worth something, I think, if it's actually one blue fluorite and two that big. That's a substantial crystal. Okay, so two yellow fluorite towers. She said, you also got my rabbit as a gift. Okay, so she took it, pulled it out, and said, not fancy. So I don't know what she replaces it with. for my Barbara. And it got ten to get chunky. Uh, okay, so she pulled a mushroom, but I couldn't see exactly what mushroom she pulled. Uh, moss agate tower. Okay, so there is the chunky tree agate moss agate obelisk. So, like I said, that one is in the package. I did see it. I think it's actually tree agate, not moss agate. But we'll take a peek when we actually look at the box. Uh, moss agate tower. Also yellow fluorite. Okay, so another yellow fluorite tower. So, I mean, 
I'm not super excited that I got three yellow fluorite towers. As a collector or as someone who's trying to grow your collection, three of the same thing just personally doesn't feel as special, but hey, to each their own. Please show one skewer seed that if you want to boot up. One skewer and give you the boot as gift. A tiger side hardship a gift. Hi Dakota and Bressy. Okay, so she said a tiger's eye. I think she said heart shape, but we'll take a peek when we get it. Open. And a bracelet. Okay, you guys, so that was the end of the scoop. Let's freaking open this box and see what we actually got and see what the quality is like. Cause I'm, I'm gonna be hardcore on the quality because they say high quality. And I think that is what everyone was challenging me on in the other video. They say high quality. So I'm expecting high quality. If it's not high quality, then it is a scam. That is deceiving. The fact that it's a mystery scoop is not a scam. The fact that they say high quality quality and you get low quality broken repaired crystals that in fact is the scam and you can't return it even though they say you can so let's open it up so we got some promo material here a little pumpkin congratulations on receiving your lucky scoop so this is what the box looks like so the other day i had lifted this off and had seen the tower so let's take a peek at that sphere since it's unwrapped and see in fact if it is blue fluorite it's it's not looking blue from here but let's take a closer peek okay you guys so this is the first crystal so it definitely isn't blue fluorite which i had my suspicions that it wasn't going to be blue fluorite blue fluorite is definitely more rare it's harder to come by green and purple fluorite are very common so i'm not surprised that this is in fact a green fluorite there is literally no blue on this there's a little bit of purple right here but it's not the greatest quality. Look at all of the white in here that just indicate not the greatest of quality. It's not honestly like a bad quality by any means. It's just not like clear or very rich in color. So it, and there's a little bit of iron right here, which, you know, is fine. Some people don't like that, but it is not a blue fluoride. It is very clearly a green one. Green fluoride's a lot cheaper, a lot easier to come by, a lot more readily available. A blue fluoride sphere of this size would be a lot more expensive, a lot harder to come by, etc. So not exactly as promised. Here is that moss agate tree agate obless. So let's open her up. Okay, you guys, so this is the Oblesque. It's actually pretty nice. There is a little druzy pocket right there. Overall, it's definitely not moss agate. It's tree agate. Still a beautiful piece. I don't have anything bad really to say about the quality. Tree agate is a lower quality than moss agate though. I will say that. This is just me personally being nitpicky. The glue dot on here is absolutely disgusting. <laughs> It's like brown and gross and this like weird tail. And the one thing I don't like about these glue dots is you have to be really careful removing them because if I were to just pull this off right now, it would break the tip off and then it would, you know, potentially damage the, the point. So what you have to do is take like a hair dryer, but I don't know, look at how freaking grimy that is. If that shows any light to how dirty those crystal vats are, yuck. <laughs> like I literally don't even want to touch it as I was just touching it. Yucky. So this is the next crystal. I can't really tell what it is. So let's open her up. Okay, you guys. So this is the little rabbit. I mean, it's fine. <laughs> it's just like a low quality agate. There really isn't any banding on it. There isn't anything special. Hence why it's in this cheap lucky scoop bin. The carvings decent. I mean, it's a mass produced carving. It's not hand carved. You can just tell by how generic it is. Truly from far away, can you tell that that's a bunny? Can you tell it's a bunny now? You have to be like this close to tell it's a bunny, which, you know, is fine, but low quality agate, nothing to call home about. It's just a gray basic agate. And the other items came like this. So this looks to be the tiger's eye palm. It's actually a heart and the flash on this is really quite incredible. I mean, that's very nice. And the back is decent too. The one thing about this that's very common in tiger's eye or tiger iron pieces is this like kind of 
crack or hole. It's really distinguished, but I don't want to dox them for quality on that because that is very typical for tiger's eye. For those of you who don't know, you can expect to see that in tiger's eye just in general, but the chatoyancy, very nice. This is a nice quality piece. The carving on the other hand isn't like the greatest. Like you can see the edge right there is a little, a little, a little lopsided, <laughs> but you know, it's all right. Next, it looks like the mushroom and the fluorite. So let's take a peek at these. So this is actually a moss agate mushroom. It's decent quality. These are super cheap though. I mean, this is like a $3 piece. So I don't know if it's technically like a, a fancy piece like she was saying it would be, but it's a decent quality carving. It's a decent quality piece of moss agate. I will give them that. Now this next piece of fluorite is disappointing and I'll show you why. So first of all, it's just shitty quality to be very frank. Second Second of all, been repaired right there. So low quality, also with the glue dots. The polish is not good. It's been repaired. I would not personally sell this in my shop or have this in my collection willingly, but some people might, you know? Let's look at the other two fluorite towers to see what they look like. You guys see my cat in the background? She's trying to go in the bed because she's cold. So this is the other yellow tower. It's it's okay, it's it's not terrible, again, with the glue dots that are probably gonna break the piece. <laughs> I don't personally like those. There is not the best polish on this, it's not the best quality, it, it's okay. But the other piece that I opened up is pretty nice, and I'll show you. So this piece is actually really quite nice. Look at the depth in that yellow fluoride. It is very clear and very dark. This is the type of quality you wanna see for a piece like this. You can just see the difference in this quality compared to the other quality, but is this? So it's not damaged, it's just the way that the crystal formed. But this is a pretty decently nice piece. This is very similar to the quality that I personally would carry in my shop. But if you can see the quality difference between these two, I mean, it's, I think it's pretty obvious. This one is much nicer quality than this one. This one obviously has the repair. This one doesn't have repairs. You can see the color difference, the lack of white in the bottom one indicating a higher quality. So there you go. Then next we just have a generic egg get bracelet. There's nothing overly special about this one. These are like two bucks. You know, they're really not expensive, not like the best quality string. They're strong, so they're smaller. I mean, look at the barely, like is the size of my palm. So they're more like for small wrists. So they save a little bit of money not putting as many beads, but it's just agate. Here's our mystery gift. So you get a little Halloween thing and another agate bracelet. <laughs> So you just get another agate bracelet. It's just literally the same one as I just showed. Not much of a gift. These are, some wholesalers literally charge a dollar for these. Some charge two, but these wholesale are not worth much, which is fine. The one feedback is like, look at how small this is. This is for like a child, you know, at least put some more beads on there so people, all people can wear it. Like a man could not wear this, it's so small. But you guys, that is everything in here. So I'm pretty sure the price of this box was like $59.99 with free shipping, but was it worth $59.99? I mean, honestly, those two bracelets being a dollar a piece, the fluorite towers would probably be $5 a piece wholesale, especially because they're so low quality, maybe less than that. So that's $15. The big tree egg that could wholesale for $15, $20. That beer wholesale would probably be $15. And then that bunny, I don't know, it's probably less than 10 bucks. So let's just say it's 10 bucks. The real money saver, I guess, was free shipping from China because that's $15, $20 to ship it from China to the United States, especially with the weight of that fluorite. It might have been more. I know, like, typically a kilo is $30 to ship to the US. So I'm really saving on the shipping, if anything. The other piece. I pretty much got the worth that I paid for it. So not the greatest quality, but I did get exactly what was scooped. Personally, I wouldn't go into a crystal shop and pick these items for myself, but that's the name of the game. They're mystery scoops. You can't really be mad about the items that you get because it is a mystery. That's the name of the game. I would say their quality was definitely 
much more in line with what I was expecting than Highland Crystals. And if you haven't seen that video, I'm gonna link it up above if you wanna go check that out. That video, the quality was just atrocious. This quality is like medium, you know, it's not definitely not high. It's not the lowest grade, but it's also like cheap stuff, you know, it's just cheap stuff. And this is just my opinion. Obelisk are much easier and much cheaper to carve than the traditional six to eight side tower, so they save money in that aspect. Tree agate is cheaper than moss agate, so they save money in that aspect. The green fluorite sphere is much cheaper than a blue fluorite sphere or even a purple or yellow fluorite sphere, just because green is the most common color so those spheres are readily available and it wasn't the greatest quality of fluorite so it was a nice size sphere though so I will give them that oh and the tiger's eye heart I forgot about that that's maybe like a six dollar piece so again it's still like I wasn't getting eighty dollars worth of crystals or a hundred dollars worth of crystals maybe retail maybe but overall I don't feel like they are necessarily running a scam but I just don't think you're getting like the best quality. But if you are a collector and you don't care about quality, then this is a great deal. And if you love mystery and you love gambling, it's a great deal. It's very addictive and it's entertaining. There's nothing wrong with ordering these. Just know what you're getting into. I much preferred my experience with Avengers crystals or if only crystals than my experience with Highland crystals like that was not good. Those are my thoughts and feedbacks. If you guys like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you want me to review other TikTok Lucky Scoops, leave their TikTok down below. I'm happy to buy them. I will be selling this box for exactly what I paid for it. And you guys, I can't give you free shipping, but I can do a medium flat rate box for you for $14. So it'll be $59 plus 14 if you want it. I'm not gonna keep any of these pieces. I have too many crystals. They're not my style, they're not my thing. But if they speak to you on another level and you see that value in them and you want them I am happy to sell them for you so they will be listed on my Shopify it's first come first serve they'll be listed in the new section so if you want these bad boys I will sell them to you <laughs> no problem thank you guys so much for joining me today and if you like this video make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below for more crystal content and I will see you guys on the next one bye